The perspective of animals within our world has shifted many times throughout countless centuries, and it will continue to shift, evolve, and fluctuate in the future. Whether they have been seen as existing alongside humans, as greater than us or beneath us, the role of animals to human life and research has been undeniable. The intertwined ecosystem and balance to human economy, consumption and sometimes greed is a complex moral line that has caused many divides. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three examples of animal research from the life-saving to the bizarre. Americans support genetically engineered animals that benefit humans. A 2018 research study seems to provide an insight into the views and concerns of some United States citizens. The survey presented participants with five scenarios in which animals would undergo some form of genetic engineering. In response, they had to vote whether they believed this was either an appropriate use of technology or if it fell into the realm of taking technology too far. While none of the scenarios gave wholly polarizing responses, overall, people were typically more accepting of scenarios that would be directly benefiting of human health, whilst largely disapproving of those with no clear advantages or being conducted for purely entertainment purposes. The scenario prompts given were as follows. From the least accepted to most widely accepted uses. Number one, the use of animal biotechnology deemed least acceptable, was adapting aquarium fish to make them glow. Number two was to adapt a closely related species to bring back an extinct animal. In third place was modifying animals to increase their protein production, resulting in meat with a higher nutritional value. The second most acceptable use, falling in at 57% agreement and 41% disagreement split, was to use animals to grow various organs and tissues that could then be used for humans who needed those transplants. Finally, the most acceptable, appropriate use of technology in the genetic engineering of animals, as voted from these scenarios by Americans in 2018, was the modification of mosquitoes to prevent the spread of disease by limiting their reproduction. Of course, there are many different factors that go into these sorts of decisions and opinions, whether your religious or spiritual practices do not align with the use of animals in this manner, if you have environmental concerns or political concerns surrounding policies and legislation that would stem from these usages. There are countless ethical, social, moral and so many other issues that fall into this debate, many of which contradict each other. Within this specific survey, conducted by the Pew Research Center, many concerns came into play ranging from ideas of the natural balance being disturbed and God's plan being disrupted to concerns with the unintended effects upon ecosystems, questioning the necessity of these means and the potential new dangers being introduced to human health. Some suggested there was not enough preliminary research to make an informed decision. All in all, there are plenty of pros, cons, reasons to support and hold reservations. While some of these sound like some sort of science fiction hypothetical scenarios we will not have to sincerely face, the reality is that these scenarios can quickly become reality. It's not some distant dystopian society. These are dilemmas and decisions being made, practiced and researched today. This survey was conducted in 2018, and even though that is still within recent years, less than half a decade ago, there are still plenty of ways we might see these change with a more modern audience. Human organs grown in pigs may help transplant patients, scientists say. Now that we have discussed what people tend to think, let us take a look at how some of these genetically engineered animal scenarios are being developed as we speak. Many of us will be familiar with Mallory Blackman's hit book, Pig Heart Boy. Though the premise seems somewhat alien, it could very well be a reality. It's well known that we have a large and significant shortage of organ donors throughout the world. Many people spend far too long suffering while they wait for their name to slowly inch up a transplant list. And for others, their names never reach the top. Whilst groups are still doing all they can to encourage people to sign up to donate organs after they die, there is still a hugely significant shortage of donors and organs available for those awaiting life-saving surgeries. 
In 2016, federal statistics revealed that on average, 22 people pass away every single day in the United States alone, waiting for organ transplants. A solution could be on the horizon, however, as scientists believe that we have the technology, knowledge, and the means to grow human organs in pigs. But how does this work? Science is on the cusp of being able to use adult stem cells, cells that are not yet specialized to a specific function, to grow human organs. It's research like this that makes it so important for stem cells to be continually accessible and able to be donated. It's at the University of California that this revolutionary research is taking place, where embryos are being formed that contain both human and pig cells. The human stem cells are taken, usually from someone's skin or hair, and then these cells are used in a pig embryo and are placed in the uterus of a pig. The pigs are then essentially pregnant with cell remnants that could become organs. The promising research stops the pregnancies at 28 days, though there would be a longer period of time if necessary. Doesn't sound like a necessarily appealing organ development process. This technique could have the potential to save countless lives, not only those awaiting transplants, but could also have beneficial uses in other life-threatening scenarios, helping patients with illnesses like diabetes. Scientists can somewhat disable a section of the animal's DNA, for example the pancreas, so that the pig embryo is missing the information to develop and form that organ. Then, when the human stem cells are injected into this embryo, the adult stem cells work to fill this informational gap, creating the missing organ, in this case, a pancreas. The lack of immune system in the pig embryo means that the foreign cells are not rejected, so the process can successfully work. This potential technique is, understandably, highly controversial. We have had revolutionary techniques in both stem cell biology and gene editing technology that have facilitated these changes, though there is still a long way to go before this research is anywhere near ready to put into practice. Scientists discover a way to get animals to stay alive without needing to breathe. The animal kingdom is a vast and varied place, though new research could let it become even more varied. Most living things on Earth need oxygen to live, and those in the animal kingdom do this through breathing. Though a recent study has us taking a page out of the Plant Kingdom book, with researchers looking at living animals that could take in their oxygen via photosynthesis, just like our leafy friends. Flora and fauna are getting closer than ever as researchers believe that they have found a way for some animals to obtain their oxygen through exposure to sunlight. This began with a number of experiments on tadpoles, who were first decapitated and then had green algae, or cyanobacteria, injected into their hearts. Both make oxygen from carbon dioxide when in sunlight, and are key components to the photosynthesis process. They found an increase in the oxygen concentration compared to the untreated control group tadpoles, suggesting that this could be the start of a much greater span of research. Diana Martinez, a neuroscientist at Rowan University in New Jersey, though not part of the study's research team, confirmed this as the first step and a proof of principle. There is plenty more out there to be done, and this is, of course, just the cusp of the beginning though there could well be a day in which animals could survive entirely without the need to breathe. But what are your thoughts on these developments of science? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.